there's broadly two different causes for any reason why a staff member didn't do a thing. One, they just they they didn't know really exactly how to do it, and the other is they did know how to to, to do it, they just didn't do it anyway. And so the latter is you know so emotional, motivational, attitudinal thing. The former can generally be addressed by just a clearer delegation and clearer standard operating procedure. And so the solution to that is almost always the same conversation. Hey, this thing didn't get done or didn't get done in the right way or there were mistakes. Show me your standard operating procedure for it. I don't have one. All right, write one. You know, then we'll make one. And then if they do have one, all right, sure. Let's read through it. Okay, step seven should probably be check this thing that wasn't checked and then it'll prevent this from happening in the future. Let's add that step. You know, the standard operating procedure just wasn't good enough. Or they they do have that step and then that would have prevented it and they didn't follow it. And the answer's like, why didn't you follow it? <laughs> What's going on here? Well, it's a little bit out of date. All right, cool, update it. You know, this is your process. You can change it whenever you want, as much as you want. You have 100% autonomy here. You know, just because I thought I was good at it a year ago doesn't mean like you're surely better at it than I was then now. Uh, so yeah, it's your, your process, man. You can do it, <laughs> yep. it's yours. And yeah, so it's yeah. so much easier, so much easier that approach than being like, you need to be, you need to have more attention to detail. It's like, all right, how, the, how do I do that? <laughs> yeah, 